tall, dark and handsome. That was the main thing that attracted me to Paul. His life was like nightclubs, racing, meeting a lot of the racing drivers. And I think that's, you know, part of Paul's personality. And that's what I love about him. I love cars, I love mechanics. For me, it's not necessarily speed, it's, it's being on the edge. It was January this year. It happened all of a sudden. When Paul came out of the hospital, I didn't know how to approach Paul that his dad has gone, because he kept on saying, I'm going to go and see my dad, I'm going to go and see my dad. There was a phone call and it was his mum. And he said, I'm going to pop down and see you, mum, and see my dad. And next minute I heard, oh no. And then he started crying and I ran down. So that was like the first time that we realised, well, I realised that his brain has changed so much. I don't remember my dad dying properly. I don't remember a lot of the work I did with him the and wedding. for him. I don't remember our wedding. So there is a, a, a slice of several years missing. There's a lot of things that are different now. His personality. He thinks he's done things and he hasn't. But I will be convinced and that causes a problem because I can't either remember half the conversation or react in an appropriate way. I've got to be careful what I say. I've either got to get it up and walk away because if I don't, he'll start to make an argument. And that's never Paul, he's never done anything like that. When Paul got diagnosed with dementia, the GP put us in contact with the Alzheimer's Society. When I first spoke to Lisa, she was very overwhelmed. She didn't understand the diagnosis, she didn't know where to go, and all she wanted to do was just find out things, get prepared and, and cry. I have got the help from Eula. She's given me so much support and help and I know she's always there if I've got a problem and I need to talk. She's someone who's there and is genuine, honest and says as it is. I go through the emotional, uh, the practical side. With Paul, I've got to get him active and involved in as much as he can do and then the emotional and support for Lisa. I would advise anyone to get in contact with the Alzheimer's Society because they're there to help people and, they and they've, help. helped, they've they, helped us. They do immensely. help so much. I would say to anyone struggling with dementia, ring the Alzheimer's Society.